What's up, Halloween fans? Let's talk a little bit today about how Michael Myers needs to be absolutely brutal in Halloween Ends. For me, that's what needs to happen to make this movie a good movie. They need to show that even though he's old as fuck, that he can still throw people around. Now, they did do that really well in Halloween Kills, but I'm just a little tiny bit worried that they're going to try to make this movie a little too story-driven and everything like that. But based off of all the trailers and everything so far, I really do think that he is going to be brutal, so I'm not that worried. But I just want them to show that Michael does not give a fuck about anything, and that he's ready to get rid of anybody that's in his way. I will give them credit. I think that this trilogy so far, Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills, has had Michael be a lot more brutal than some other movies in the past in the franchise. He's just big. He's he's intimidating. You know, some of the other movies, not so much. <laughs> or at least not as much. Now, obviously, Rob Zombie's uh, Michael Myers is the most brutal, the most intimidating, the biggest, craziest one. But you know, with Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills, I really do think that Michael Myers has been one of the best versions of the character so far that we've seen. And of course, that means that they need to continue this with the trilogy. I'm just a little bit worried that it's not going to happen because I keep hearing all this stuff about all these copycat killers and everything. So we might not get that much screen time with the actual Michael. And that's been disappointing me lately. Obviously, I'm still going to see the movie, and I really, I'm really excited for it. But at the end of the day, I really think that having copycat killers is not that great of an idea. So I hope they don't do that. But it sounds like they will. People want to see the real Michael Myers. To me, it's the same thing with the dream sequence. For me, in almost any case, in any movie, having a dream sequence is just not the best idea because when it's over and you realize and the audience realizes it was a dream it really devalues that scene for the audience in my opinion think about rob zombie halloween 2 maybe the best 20 minutes or so of any halloween movie is that opening where michael myers is chasing her through the hospital and she gets in that little shack and he's busting it down and it's raining and that is probably some of the best scenes in all of all in all of the halloween franchise and guess what? It was a fucking dream. <laughs> Why did they do that? I have no idea. When I saw it was a dream, when I saw that movie for the first time, I basically literally was like, are you kidding me? Because that can't be a dream. You can't have something that epic and it just be a dream. I'm just worried that, you know, I'm not saying they're going to have a dream sequence in Halloween Ends, but having a copycat killer, I think, might have the same effect. People will be like, wait, that wasn't Michael Myers? <laughs> and it's just going to devalue that. And so I hope they don't go that direction. We want to see Michael Myers and we want to see him be brutal. We need to see a lot of kills, even though they have said that there's not going to be as many kills as in Halloween Kills, obviously. I understand that. But we need to see him, you know, this is the epic finale. We need to see him just go balls to the wall. And they need to go balls to the wall with the character. Um, I'm I'm all for more atmosphere and everything, but they just need to make sure that he is he, he's gonna do stuff that will leave a mark in your mind, just like Art the Clown does. You know, he does crazy stuff that you're just never going to forget. And I think Michael Myers did stuff in Halloween Kills that you're never for, that you're never gonna forget. You know, with the light bulb kill, the whole firefighter scene, and then in Halloween 2018 with like the knife through the neck of that lady in the window. You know, they have a lot of iconic moments already in this trilogy, and so I hope that they that there's going to be stuff like that in Halloween Ends, where it's just like, wow, that was crazy. So we'll see what happens. I'm not really sure. But anyway, it should be a fun movie. I'm really excited for it. And I hope you guys are having a good day, and I will see you in the next one.